friends, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Katarina. I want to play some more Katarina. It's a really fun card to play. And we have this new landmark from Demacia called the Grand Plaza that you may or may not be aware of that has made Katarina much better. Whenever an ally is summoned to give it plus one plus one and challenger this round. Being able to keep summoning Katarina, gaining more attack uh, tokens, and also giving Katarina Challenger with the quick attack and the ability that, uh, to just recall her is really, really good. And so we're going to be putting those two together. Plus, we got a reindeer in here, our great horn companion. Best reindeer. So we got we got that. And so that's another reason to play this deck. And it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to have Egghead Researcher be able to create another dragon follower for us. Crimson Curator. Whenever it survives damage, it will make more Crimson units, which will just be more challengers for us with the Grand Plaza, and uh, yeah, that'll kind of be our deck. Ranger's Resolve will be a good pr protection spell for us. Um, adding in Scorched Earth because of other people playing Grand Plazas and our our need to be able to destroy those. And then we can also even have um, like something small challenge something big with the Grand Plaza and then kill the big thing with uh, the Scorched Earth as well. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play some Riven Katarina. Okay. We got we got the landmark, we got Katarina, we got our reindeer. So pretty good hand. And we'll just take this. We don't really want to see hush. <laughs> yeah, there's probably gonna be a Grand Plaza nerf coming. Yeah, probably. Just gonna end round. Would have been a little bit better to have, um, have the Grand Plaza on their turn and have the like, turn four have the attack token with all this stuff. So Zoe, Riven, or Victor? What's your favorite? My favorite's probably Victor. I like all three, though. I think that they are all very well-designed champions. But I think my favorite's probably... Uh, Victor. Wait, so Katarina will be a 4-3. If I don't want Zoe to strike me at all... I guess I'm going to do this and that. And single combat? No, it should it's just not worth the single combat. Maybe it's not, okay, maybe I shouldn't have played the how I guess I should have played Egghead Researcher just to block. Deciding I don't want to do single combat. Yep, and single combat was not worth it. So I want to play Katarina this turn. I want them to have another unit in play, though. I am worried about Hush. Okay, they're not going for the other unit in play. Because I'm what I'm worried about is Hush. That would kill my Katarina. And so I wanted them to play another unit so that if they did Hush, then I'd be able to single combat and bounce my Katarina back. Okay, they're going with the stun. We're going to be replacing the Psychad Researcher anyway. It's fine. Hey, really powerful wizard, Merry Christmas. Okay, GG's. How could I have killed that Zoe? I don't think I ever could have. Because I think even if I would have single combat when they were the 3-3s, you know, they had the tough card, so they would have survived. 
I don't think I ever could have killed that Zoe. I guess maybe there. If instead of House Spider, I play Katarina to fight, because then it would have been a 4-3, maybe that would have killed Zoe. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tali just says that deck shows off how Zoe is a great build around and doesn't need a direct buff. If anybody thinks that Zoe needs a direct buff, they are crazy. Zoe is one of the best champions in the game. Alright, send it all back. Could have kept a 1 mana 2 2, but. Oh well, it's just a 1 mana 2 2. I like looking for, you know, looking for the plaza. Looking for some better threats. Rangers resolves a card I definitely like. Can you improve perfection? To serve the greater good. It's Draven time. Got axes, need victims. No looking back. So we'll use tough to save Riven. Now we're cooking. Took out a high house spider also. Cool. Draven out. System upgrade. All right, let's miss. I really hope they don't have static shock. <laughs> I mean, I'm, obviously, I, I play. It's like I. It's not like I don't play the Grizzled Ranger. I definitely play the Grizzled Ranger, but I hope they don't have Static Shock. Yeah, Zoe, Zoe Fiora is the most popular Zoe deck. Um, on on the YouTube channel, we, we did a Zoe Victor that worked well and a Zoe Diana that worked well. If you want to check out those on the YouTube channel, just kind of scroll through the videos, look for Zoe Victor and Zoe Diana, or if somebody wants to help in chat. Oh, sorry. Giving Greyhorn Companion Quick Attack could be pretty cool. I failed. Humanity is obsolete. My opponent's living the dream with all these ballistic bots. Never got to do anything that cool with the ballistic bot. Ignition. I'm not sure if it's worth the quick attack on one of these five fives. Like they can kill one five five with the six three anyway. Is it worth it on the Grizzled Ranger? No, all right, we'll we'll do it on a reindeer. We need a quick reindeer. Hmm. Oh wow, Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend's pretty nice. They could just throw that in front of the Great Horn Companion. I. If I attack like this, they can just block my Badger Bear with the Shadow Fiend, and that's probably not where I want to be with life. That's that's pretty nice of just being able to throw that in front and not worry about it. Alright, 
are probably going to be going with Enviola's Vox the next turn. Ooh. So if I go Plaza... I may go Plaza save spell mana for, like, Might. Time for a true display of skill. I think that's the thing. Save spell mana. Let's see. So if I save spell mana next turn, we're at 8 mana. Lame. Lame. Can you improve perfection? Sure. Yeah, Targon's definitely the best reason right now. Thanks, DK. All right, which one are we doing? They pass in. If they're gonna have like thermogenic beam, which one would I rather have them kill? Maybe the Vox. I guess I could have just led with Cythria first and seen what they do. Okay, they had five damage. Try beam and probulator. That has been a card that has been killing me today. Try beam and probably later. So I'll put him down to three. It's close. We're getting there. I'm surprised they didn't just play this, the Static Shock right away, and they passed priority to me, and they were just going to let my um, Enviolus box grow. I mean, obviously now I wish I would have just let you know let that happen and, and let my Enviolus box be two health and also draw a card. Down to six. No, let's see. I block there. Block there. What is this? Nice to punch you. No, no right. There's always Captain Farron. Well, I really hope one of these two spells is not a uh, fast beat. You know, those two plus the thing they draw. Really hope none of those is a fast beat removal spell for the house spider. If they don't have, you know, mystic shot or anything that kills this house spider, they lose. Because we'll kill the Captain Farron. And then we'll have five overwhelm. Come on, hopefully it works. Key dexterity with the good luck cheers. And it worked! Thanks to the good luck cheers from Kitty Dexterity. Yes. GG's. Ooh. Trundle Trindomir. It's been a little bit. We played this. Alright, let's start prediction. So single combat's gone. Probably don't need the second Riven. Ranger's Resolve is going to be good against Avalanche. Um, and I guess they, they play like their one damage spells, you know, like all their Vile Feasts and all that kind of garbage. So it's probably worth it just to keep Ranger's Resolve. It's probably going to trade up in mana. Okay, I like this hand that's going wide now with the Ranger's Resolve. I like that. I 
can go wide safer. Spider attacks for three, Egghead Researcher attacks for one. Pretty easy to decide which one to play. Yeah, I have a full collection, or, you know, I don't I don't know if I have 100% of every card, but um, whatever card I don't have, I could I could craft with with uh, shards. But, you know, streaming every single day, we, we've we earned the cards. Oh, I'm sorry, Grizzled Ranger, I can't really play you. Um, you're just quick attack, so you don't matter. So we'll just go ahead and attack. I hope they play the five mana Targon landmark. I don't know how they will, being for all your Shadow Isles, but I hope they do. I hope they just spend five mana on the landmark. Not really sure how that's going to happen. Good card to keep them alive. That was a good card to keep them alive. It's playing an open attacking. It's difficult for me to attack with Grizzle Ranger if they have because if they have another avalanche, then uh, things go sideways. But do things really go that sideways? I guess maybe not. And it's not it's not super likely they have a second avalanche, right, when they already had one. Yeah, it's not super likely, I suppose. Plus, we gain the attack token again. But that's pretty cool. Okay, Withering Whale was going to kill all my stuff anyway. Alright, let's buff up Grizzled Ranger. Attack. Overwhelm. Plus two plus zero. Make these pieces whole. Down to five. <laughs> these single combat score shirt with all these cards look kind of silly. So hopefully no vengeance. Get him. No, that vengeance. If they just had, you know, like a heal their Nexus for three card, that Sharp Sight could have been a perfect top deck. They had the only card they needed, like that was the only card that saved them. Besides like a Frostbite spell, I guess, you know, they could have had a Frostbite spell. Um, don't know if that was completely likely, but they could have had that as well. What time is it? Wow. They had two vengeance. What's my best draw? Like the moose? Get a reindeer, I mean. Can we get a reindeer? Katarina? Ooh, Katarina would be good. Everyone bleeds for the right Yeah, Katarina. Or a reindeer. 
Well, now the game's over. They had exactly what they needed. You know, that was a perfect Withering Whale. Perfect Ruination, then perfect Vengeance, and second rep Vengeance. Exactly what they needed. Kind of like Tavern Keepers were amazing also. Okay. There we go. Playing against Gohard. Cool, we got the Grand Plaza. That's good. I like this hand. Yeah, I like this hand. Um... The single combats haven't looked very good in this deck. I would like more Katarina. We've seen one total Katarina in three games. I'd like more Katarina. You know, this is game number four. I pull the strings. I'm actually here. We could use a bite. Whoa. Gotta get rid of that thing. So Sideways said, we're having trouble with big dudes today. Maybe swap out the spider aggro. Like, isn't spider aggro good against big dudes, though? Like, isn't that... Right, like, the spider aggro should be faster? I'm not sure which card you're talking about. Turn zero attack overwhelm unit. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'll do my best. I'd rather trade with Spider than trade with Go Hard. <clears throat> right, like I just get the body out of play for them because you know spider is just like a good blocker on all of my little stuff anyway in the out from the darkness when will I find peace I'll play Riven on their turn so that whenever I gain the attack token on my turn we get to reforge. So basically, Twisted Fate's the problem. I want to play the Reindeer, but they go Twisted Fate Gold Card, and that's kind of a problem. So instead, I could go Katarina. And then they gold card Katarina, but then I could I could single combat put Katarina back in my hand, but that means they gold card the Riven. Let the begin. I think we Katarina. Go okay, no twist of fate. That's good. No vengeance. No twist of fate. That is good. Going to get rid of the Spiderling so they don't get to block with the Spiderling. It's just a neck. Like 
You, oh, you put all your points on me winning? All right, well, I will try... Be trying my best. It keeps them from drawing two, and it bounces my Katarina. That is worth it. Ouch. A tribute to the spider god. You don't see Vile Feast that much in this deck, and I, I really don't think that Vile Feast should be in my opponent's deck at all. I don't think that it's... I think I think that that's a poor card to put in the Go Hard deck when you're trying to find Go Hard's spray fit and everything. I, I don't like it at all, but, I mean, I, I can't deny that that was a perfect Vile Feast. Because so they're going to run us out of stuff. We're going to need more uh, stuff, which is why the Crimson Curator can help out. Um, I may just not play anything on this turn. Like, I could play the Moose right now. I don't know. We'll just pass, see what happens. I was kind of thinking, like, maybe they kill, like, with that attack, maybe they try to kill the Riven right here, and then I, I single combat away the Riven and then play new Riven. I'm taking their sweet time. Alright, we'll play the Moose. So next turn I could play new Riven and Crimson Curator. There's plenty of killing left. This deck's good. Like, these things are so cheap, so efficient. It's possible that, it, like, attacking with the moose, like, isn't even worth it. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. <laughs> if I do attack with the moose, we do gain... We do gain the attack token again, so we do reforge again with, with Riven, so we get all three pieces. Because all I'm doing by attacking is allowing them to kind of refill their board with, like, better things. Let's keep the moose like that. I do want to kill the spray fin. And get a new crimson thing in hand. People just usually just play one ruination, right? Right, you don't usually see a second ruination. Really, I need my Katarina not to die. <clears throat> That's the the clearly clearly I needed need to keep that Katarina alive. I sense their power. All right, we'll level up Riven. Casting our three Blade Fragments. Go, Reindeer, go! Deliver the presents. Oh, come on. You're murdering a Reindeer? On Christmas? Grow the ribbon. And. Curator would make sense. I think this house spider also makes sense. Bloody 
are the better. Something the matter. What we got them going down to eight. Come. Get more health on this ribbon. I don't think I do. I need Katarina. Where you at? So that will be go hard at number three. Card's a problem. That card is a problem. I found my family, my blood. Yeah, like we have to kill them this turn. Obviously, I don't want to see... Like, Vengeance and Ruination are the two cards I want to see the least. Pack your bags after that. But I have a pretty decent chance that they don't have... That they don't have Vengeance or Ruination. Or Twisted Fate. Or Pack Your Bags. <laughs> you know, basically, if they don't have removal. We're going to be killing them. Okay. We're gonna give Kato Overwhelm. To them on broken wings. Go time. It's nothing personal. Yep. Guess. <laughs> so I have four mana left, so I'll have mana for single combat. Yeah, we don't, we don't I don't need to play this blade fragment. So about four mana. I, you know, I wish we had five for all three of these cards, but so we'll have two of these three cards depending on what we need to use with Ranger Resol Resolve, Weapon Hilt, Single Combat. Yeah, so this one, this one we can cast during combat, so we're good there. We can cast this one during combat. Vengeance is what I couldn't have. I couldn't have Vengeance. Okay, so let's see. We're going to... So put them down to three. Do single combat fight the Ledros. I think that's the best option. Against Vengeance. Alright, we're back to killing them again. Okay. Didn't have anything else with that other four mana. There we go. Overwhelm Kato. Overwhelm Riven. Overwhelm is good against Gohard. I play everything here on the stream, and so I don't really have any favorite decks, to be honest. Alright, friction started. Single combat gone. With the attack token, it will keep the Scythria. Their things are going to be a little bit big for my single combat. No, I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh before. No, I we haven't. We've only just, we've only drawn one total Katarina in the first four games, and again we don't have a. No, no, we've drawn two. We we drew one that other game. Never mind. We've drawn two total Katarinas. Um, but no, I I haven't felt that like three Katarinas gets clunky because this deck is really like we are a Katarina deck first and foremost. Like that's our. Um, besides you know Grand Plaza, Grand Plaza Katarina are, you know cards one and two that we want to see. Because uh, we don't have, like, a, a great top end. Like, look at these cards. You know, like, right? Like, we don't have a great top end in our deck. And that is what Katarina provides, is a great top end. Because you can keep on just, you know... Katarina is a great mana dump. You can just sink... Or mana sink. You can just sink all your mana into a Katarina. And be very happy about that. 
Let's go with the Riven right here and go with the Grand Plaza on their turn. This is why I have Scorched Earth in my deck to try to get rid of the Grand Plaza, but did not draw Scorched Earth. My spider just doesn't use my mana very well at all, right? Like, it just doesn't. I'm going to go with the Grizzled Ranger instead. Our sun will not set today. Pretty sure I kill Robin. Beaver. I'm not that worried about that 5 2. We can kill that thing later with House Spider. We're just gonna run out of cards with like, you know, the Robins keep giving them additional cards. Yeah, Hush is good. Where's Katarina? Bask in her radiant blessing. This is probably going to be a loss, though. I mean, I'm just going to have too many cards. I'm glad no, like, single combat there to take out my reindeer. Oh, right. I don't get to attack multiple times. Come on, cat. Where are you at? Hey, <laughs> yeah, I... I I've, I messed that up. I should have been a scout. That is a surprise no attack. It's a surprise no attack. Just chilling with 10 cards. We did beat this deck before with, you know, with uh, whenever we played this this deck the first time. Um, they didn't they didn't draw Grand Plaza though. That was like the big difference. But like all these other things, I was actually able to take out. Um, like I was I was able to actually kill a Rillian Soul with like a Moose, and stuff. And you know we had Katarina that we we're gonna be able that we were able to get multiple attacks. Without Katarina, our deck is just not on the same power level as this without being able to have a whole lot of attacks every turn. Yeah, I gotta draw the plat. Gotta draw the cat, though. History is forged anew. 
they had another, again, they had a great hand. You know, Plaza 3, big lifesteal thing on 4, and then, you know, Robin, Robin, Eclipse Dragon, Aurelian Soul. You know, it's just, it's the cards in their deck. And it worked really well, especially with having, with having Plaza. So unfortunately, we only drew two total Katarinas. In five games. It's the card that I wanted to play the most. And it was the, the whole re the whole reason to play this deck is because of Katarina. And we only had uh, two total in five games. Even Mulliganing looking for it. That's too bad. They, of course, were a Hush deck, though, which Hush is the best card against Katarina as well. Yeah, I mean, Aurelian Soul Leona is ridiculously powerful, right? Like, that's just a, that's going to be a really difficult deck for a lot of things to beat, especially if you're not, if you're not super fast. I wonder, do, do they have any conversations about Aurelian Soul being too powerful? Because <laughs> that card is so hard to beat, and they've added in so many good defensive elements um, with Targon and, like, Demacia and everything. It, you know, now having that Daybreak Lifesteal card now, um... That just helps you get to the late game, and Eclipse, they just buffed up Eclipse Dragon, making that thing a 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know if that was even necessary. They didn't nerf Aurelian Soul when he came out. There is... There's no diff... Aurelian Soul is the exact same card. There's no difference between being 20 to level up and 25 to level up. When you, when you have Aurelian Soul in play, and if you have 20 or 25 power, you're going to be winning an incredibly high percentage of games. There's There's hardly any change between 20 and 25, whether it levels up or not. Like you're you're winning whenever you're at that point of the game anyway um you know maybe like one out of what one out of 20 games that cost you that difference maybe one out of 20 like games that you have a really soul in play and that that would have made a difference i don't and and it's the only really the only difference it usually makes is against other really in soul decks right like it 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 doesn't because like those are like the only other decks that are like powerful enough to handle a really in soul decks to begin with. So I don't I don't think that that's any I don't think that that's any difference in in the card. I don't think I don't think non Aurelian soul decks beat Aurelian soul more easily now because it has 25 instead of 20. I I don't I don't think that's any difference. Yeah, so if you can if you play this deck, hopefully you draw Katarina's a little bit better than I did. That's a really fun card to play and we didn't I didn't really get to show off the power of being able to get a leveled up Katarina get a lot of attacks, especially with the Grand Plaza. It can be really, really powerful uh, with the Grand Plaza, but we didn't get to show that off in these games, just not having a Katarina. Um, but there we go. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Have you been having fun with Katarina Grand Plaza? Do anything cool with that? Let me know. Um, you know, just other, other kind of decks that you want to see on YouTube later on. You know, give me those deck ideas and I'll make it happen. All right, but that's it here for Riven Katarina. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.